Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 17 in chapter 22. Chapter 22 is about Gauss's law. So we look at this system. It tells us it's a non-conducting sphere. So what keyword? Non-conducting. What that means? That means the charge is uniformly distributed on this object. No, inside this object, right? It is zero, 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 zero. Everywhere is not on just on the surface. Agree? And then it tell you there are two layers. The first layer, the radius is R1, six centimeter. R2 is twelve centimeter. And the charge density for the inner part, row one, is rated right there negative five coulomb per meter cube. Row two is a positive eight coulomb per meter cube. This is the given quantities, right? Now you need to determine the electric field dense in three regions, A, B, C, right? First one, where is A? A is in this yellow part. So it is the radius from the zero to the R1, six centimeter. So it is like this regions in the yellow part. You can see V nerd for the electric field dense, right? V nerd is the Gauss's law. The Gauss's law tells us the electric flux is equal to the net charge enclosed divided by epsilon naught. So it looks like we need to find the electric flux first. So electric flux, we can say it is E times its surface. So E times the surface for this circle, we can write it as 4 pi r squared, agree? And then equal to the enclosed net charge divided by epsilon naught. Therefore, we get the function E as the enclosed charge divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r squared. This is Vinod, right? Now, for first part, we need to find the enclosed charge for part A. Part A, you can see, can you find the enclosed charge in this region, in this circle, the red circle? Yes, because the density is given, you can find its volumes, right? This is the volumes for the spherical object. So four, 4 pi r cubed divided by 3, you get the enclosed charge. Now you input this term inside. It can be simplified as this one. In this function, you can say row 1, if so not, is given. So you get the answer there. Then second part, you need to find the region in this orange part. Right? It is the r is from is larger than r1, smaller than r2. So, in this case, still we can consider this e as the enclosed net charge divided by four pi r naught r squared. This is the Gauss's law, right? Looks like we need to find the net charge enclosed. You can see it in two parts. One part is the yellow part. The next part is this orange part. For yellow part, it is just very easy, right? The density, row 1 times its volumes. But for the orange part, you can see, for orange part, you can see, it is this larger one minus this smaller one, agree? So you can write it as this way. The volumes for this orange circle. And then we input this enclosed charge inside. And then simplify it, we get a function for that. Input the known quantities, row 1, row 2, if so not, you get the function, look like this one. The third part is the circle. Just close all the object. So in this case, the enclosed charge is the yellow part, the orange part, right? The orange part becomes R2 cube minus r1 cube and you input it inside as the enclosed charge simplify the functions like this 4 pi 4 pi 4 pi 4 pi cancel then you can write the function look like this one simplify it input all the given quantity you get the answer there next one you need to plot this graph for the electric field dense how can you do that see this is our calculation answers a is the region from the 0 to R1, right? B is the region from R1 to R2. 
C is a region larger than R2, so you plot it there. For the A part, you can see it is uh, smaller than 6 centimeters, and it is a linear relationship with a slope negative. Agree? Looks like this one. And then from R1 to R2, you can see it's a polynomial function. So it looks like this one. And then the third one, still you plot it, it looks like this one. Thank you.